Hi everyone, this is a quick video about number shape systems from mnemotechnics.org. One of the basic principles of memorizing numbers is that you take the abstract data of the numbers and convert it into pictures because visual images are easier to remember than numbers. So with a number shape system you take single digit numbers and find a, a real world object that looks like that digit so it's a quick and easy way to come up with 10 images for single digit numbers. The first example is that 0 looks kind of like a ball. Another image that you could use could be an egg or a donut or a ring. It really doesn't matter what you use, which image that you choose as long as you are consistent and use the same image every time. 1 looks kind of like a candle. It could also be a spear or a stick. Two looks like a swan. Three looks like a butterfly's wings. It could also be a set of handcuffs or a heart. Four looks like a flag. Another popular image is a sailboat. For number five, I use an image of a hook. Another possibility would be a snake, or uh, one person told me that they use the image of Superman because five looks like an S. The image that I use for number six is an elephant because the trunk looks kind of like the number six. Another possibility would be a cherry with a stem, or even a combination lock where you that's open. You could lock something with it and then spin the combination. The image I use for seven is a boomerang. Another possibility is axe. Looks kind of like an axe. The image for number eight, the one that I use is a snowman. Another possibility is an hourglass. Feel free to make up your own images. For number nine, I use a balloon on a string. Many of these images come from Dominic O'Brien, who was an eight-time world memory champion, and he has a lot of great books out there. I recommend one called Quantum Memory Power, but many of these images also go back several hundred years in some of the early earlier mnemonic writings. So what happens when you get to 10, 11, and 12, or even higher numbers like 5,000? Usually for larger numbers, people have two-digit two systems, and sometimes even three-digit systems or four-digit systems. So for those, you would use either the major system or the Dominic system or the Ben system. There are a few different possibilities. I'm going to post some links below the video for more information. One that you'll want to bookmark is mnemotechnics.org slash w. That's where we keep our wiki. And it's it has articles on each of these different systems. I think the main one of the main uses of the number shape system, or the place where I use it, is when I have numbers of uneven length. So with the US phone number, you have ten digits, but they're grouped in three, three, and four. If you have a two-digit system like me, you're going to end up with something like this, where you have 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2. So the, the single-digit blocks there can be filled in with number shapes. If you have a three-digit system, which I have a partially completed one that I use for some phone numbers, you'll end up with 3, 3, 3, and 1. So with that final digit, you still might want to use a number shape. You could also do 3, 3, 2, and 2, in which case you wouldn't need the number shapes. That's pretty much it for number shapes. It's a simple system just to create 10 quick images for 10 digits. If you have any questions, just come over to the mnemotechnics.org memory forum and ask your questions there.